Hello everyone, my name is Elena Koneva and I'm a fruit crop extension specialist with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System and a faculty at the Department of Horticulture at Auburn University. Today I'm going to present information um, about size controlling fire blight resistant apple rootstocks, uh, mainly their performance in Alabama. Well, um, worldwide, um, USA is the second largest world producer of apples um, in the 2021 season. And uh, Red Delicious and Golden Delicious have dominated apple production in Alabama and the Southeast for some time. Fuji has adapted well to Southeastern conditions and continues to be planted by commercial growers around. But the production uh, is facing some challenges, and uh, the most significant of them is the fire blight disease that is, called, that is caused by the bacterium Ervinia amylovora. This is a um, disease that affects apples and pears. So another um, emerging problem is the warming climate that causes, in some winters, uh, low or insufficient chilling hour accumulation and apples are now known to have relatively high uh, chilling requirements. So this is um, a real challenge for uh, apple production. Also, the conventional orchards being um, in use right now, uh, they provide relatively low production efficiency and um, there are Currently, some systems developed for their high production efficiency, and we uh, wanted to see how they will perform. So on this picture, you can see the typical shepherd's crook um, symptom of fire blight on newly formed uh, apple shoot. But in addition to blighted shoots, um, fire blight can cause uh, symptoms on blossoms, on fruit, uh, on trunk, and even on the rootstock of the tree. The annual national uh, losses that are caused by fire blight to apple production exceed uh, $100 million. There are chemical control options available, such as some um, copper compounds could be used or antibiotics like streptomycin. But the most reliable um, management option is considered to be the cultural control through the use of fire blight resistant rootstocks. The current advances in apple production um, led to development of fire blight resistant rootstocks from uh, different rootstock breeding programs around the world and also um, size controlling rootstocks for high density orchards uh, have been developed. In addition, the new training systems for high density orchards have been also developed. And the release of this uh, relatively low chill Aztec Fuji cultivar is uh, very beneficial for locations like us in Alabama with lower chilling winters. The idea of using dwarf or size controlling rootstocks to reduce the size of an apple tree is not new. Uh, it has been around since 1920s when a series of molling rootstocks have been developed at the East Molling in England. More recently, um, Russia released the Budogovsky series of rootstocks, and in Canada, we had a violent series of rootstocks, and uh, Cornell University has developed and released a series of Geneva rootstocks with uh, different size control uh, levels. Recent development of various training systems also led to the establishment of high density, highly efficient orchard systems where the maximum light interception was provided and a better light distribution within the canopy occurs. 
Typical for these systems is also a reduced need for pruning and um, reduced labor costs for maintenance of those orchards. Also, early returns to the growers are due to the precocity and improved fruit quality are very typical, especially for the tall spindle training system, which is considered to be the best. Asik Fuji cultivar was developed in New Zealand and it was released as the most colored strain of Fuji. The texture of the fruit is crispy and the flesh is very juicy and very sweet. Chilling requirements of Asik Fuji are between 400 and 500 hours. And of course, uh, since this is a new release, um, very little is still known about the performance of Asti Fuji in North America. In order to establish if the recent advancements and innovations in apple production would provide benefits to our growers, apple growers in Alabama, we established an um, apple rootstock study in 2014 with the objectives to evaluate the effect of 14 newly developed size controlling fire blight resistant rootstocks on yield, fruit quality, and crop efficiency of Aztec Fuji apple grown under Alabama environment using innovative tall spindle orchard system. The experiment was established at the Chilton Research and Extension Center. And the planting density was 672 trees per acre. The tall spindle system consisted of a three row wire support uh, and a height of three meters. During the eight years of this study, we collected sets of data to determine the effect of the rootstock on tree fever, productivity, and also on fruit quality. And um, this chart represents our 2021 data based on the trunk cross-sectional area. And you can see that our green bars here um, represent our most vigorous, vigorously growing rootstocks. And they are mainly from the Van Lent series. And um, the growth represented by the white bars um, reflects mostly semi-dwarf rootstocks, while the orange bars here uh, represent six rootstocks, mainly from Geneva series, that had dwarf type of vigor or uh, grew uh, slowly and were the smallest, uh, anywhere between 50% uh, or smaller trees in comparison to our Vineland series of rootstocks. During the years of our study, we have um, recorded significant rootstock effect on number of root per tree. Here, the chart represents our 2021 data, where our most dwarfing rootstocks from Geneva series are colored in orange. And you can see that Geneva 202, Geneva 935, Geneva 214, Geneva 11 and Geneva 41 had a very similar number of fruit per tree in comparison to um, trees that were on the most vigorous violent series of rootstocks, namely V7, V1, V5. This slide represents the rootstock effect on cumulative yield in kilograms per tree for the eight years of our study. So in 2021, we established that trees on Geneva 969 produced the highest cumulative yield throughout the years. And trees that were grafted on B10 um, had the least cumulative yield. But also we noticed that trees that were grafted on Geneva 935 perform very similarly to um, G30 uh, and um, two of the Vineland series 
um, trees on V5 and V6. Also, Geneva 11 cumulative yield was the same, like um, the cumulative yield uh, of trees that were grafted on violent one. When the yield efficiency was calculated and expressed as kilograms per square centimeter of trunk cross-sectional area, we found out that trees that were grafted on four Geneva series, like Geneva 214, Geneva 41, Geneva 935, and Geneva 202, provided the highest efficiency. All of them were dwarf, dwarfing trees. So we also evaluated the rootstock effect on the mean fruit weight during the years. And in some years, we saw significant differences. And in some seasons, there were not significant differences. So this table represents our 2021 data when the mean fruit weight varied between 239.7 grams and 276.1 grams but uh, the fruit weight was not uh, significantly different um, between different rootstocks. And um, the fruit weight on trees that are considered dwarf trees uh, are highlighted in green here. Throughout the years of this study, we have seen some significant rootstock effect on Nazstick Fuji fruit quality attributes but usually the sugars were within the uh, normal typical rate of 13 to 15 percent bricks uh, throughout the years. When evaluating the rootstock effect on tree survival, I should mention that trees on M9 T337 were completely lost two years ago, but also this is. Um, a rootstock from the Molling series, and it does not have any fire blight resistance. It was included as one of the standard cultivars of rootstocks in our study. Looking at the suckers formation, we can see that um, two Geneva series of rootstocks, namely G969 and G11, did not produce any suckers, and that is a good news for the nurseries. While Geneva 30 produced the highest number of suckers per tree, and this was 3.9 suckers on average. So to summarize our eight year results from this study, I'd like to mention that G41, B10, G935, G202, G214, and G11 are promising size controlling rootstocks providing 30 to 50 percent smaller tree. Also, these smaller trees produce between 71 and 85 percent of the total yield of the most vigorous trees. Trees grafted on dwarf rootstocks G41, B10, G935, G202, G214, and G11 had the highest yield efficiency. Also, trees on the fire blight susceptible M9 rootstock did not survive after the seventh season. Violent series of rootstocks may not be a proper choice for Alabama and the Southeast. Uh, due to their high vigor. With that, I would like to thank for your attention and please email me if you have any questions about this information presented today.